So you might see people using these rather expensive colour checkers to help colour balance cameras. Um, they're rather expensive for what they are, which is a set of colours to help you uh, achieve consistent colour. It doesn't actually matter that they're that accurate unless you're going to send your footage to someone else and they're going to merge it with someone else's footage. You know, if you're only dealing with your own content, using an official colour is not really that important. Anyway, they're rather expensive. The Wikipedia page has all of the colours, the RGB colours. So I quickly went to my local paint shop and I got a load of colour swatches, these little colour charts that you use, you know, when, when you're picking out colours for painting. Uh, these are free, so you can get a set and you can match them to the colours that are on the Wikipedia page. So using a set of these, I've already got uh, some black foam X and some white foam X. I'm going to assemble my own colour checker. Uh, we'll see see where we get to. So here I've got my uh, black surface, just some foam X, and then these are all my colours. So I'm going to start laying them out and just seeing what it looks like. So I've got some Blanc de Blanc, which is uh, white, some Weathered Cottage, some uh, Battlement Grey, some Carriage Wheel, some Charcoal Sketch, and then some Downing Street. So they're the, the, the grayscale ones that go across the bottom. Uh, and on my camera, or on my screen anyway, these two look almost identical. So there we go. And then the next row up from the bottom, I've got some Midnight Sonata. Now I've got some Emerald Enchantment, which is like a dark green. Some Pretty Poppy, which is like a red. Brilliant Blooms, which is yellow, uh, Posh Purple, Jolly Blue, Outru Orange, some Moroccan Resort, which is a Prince's Heartbreak, which is like a pink, Noblesse Oblique. Then I've got some Grazing Green and some High Visibility, which is like a a yellow slash orange and then in the top row I've gone for lights at sea which is a, a lighter turquoise I'm gonna miss this one out for a minute then I've got some uh, dark green some mica blue then we have some deep blush and some cherry cola it's like a dark brown so this one here is meant to be a blue flower, is uh, the description on the Wikipedia page. And I have two blues left. I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure I had one that was more appropriate uh, for this colour. But for the time being, I'm just going to go with Deep Ocean Floor. Um, or, or Ming Dynasty, I'm not really sure. They're almost exactly the same anyway. So it's supposed to be a lighter... Uh, purple, so maybe it is a deep ocean floor because the Ming Dynasty is quite blue. Anyway, that's what I'm going to go with. I can always change them afterwards. I can just nip back and get another swash. So that's what I'm going to do. The next things I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up all of these into little squares or little rectangles, and then I'm going to lay them out and uh, stick them on with some double sided sticky tape. So, all in all, that took me about half an hour to make, and I've got this lovely <coughs> three-part board. So, I can stand it on things by using the back one. Um, it's quite useful if you're doing anything with desks or there's no nothing to put it against. And then I've got this one at the front, which is a sort of a, a bit of a reflector. So, if I... Uh, my All my lights in here are, are downlighters, so it's not ideal. 
but for instance this is uh, straight flat if I bring this in you can just see a slight change in those colors and if I sit, set it back a little bit there's even more well it's just because there's more light on it so this is what I look like through my mobile phone and um, I guess in post I'll add some color corrections so you can see what I actually look like anyway this took me about half an hour and other than materials I already had cost me nothing worth a try right